Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at a Russian dragon figure. His name is Nikita Petrovich Savin, and he's from Dnieper, 1943. Red Army Infantry with waiting gear, which is unique to this figure. So let's jump right in and take a look at the box. There's a picture of him. On the top is another cool picture of the figure. And here's the back with the equipment listed. And this one came out in 2005. And uh, I just have a few things in here. I've got his boots in the box as well as some clips for his rifle. All right, so that's his box. Let's take a look at the figure now. All right, guys, here he is, all geared up in his waiting equipment. This is a really nice figure. Um, not one that I've been desperately looking for, but I got him for a good price on eBay. Paid around... Um, I think it was a little less than $50, so a pretty good price for him. Um, but he's very unique. I love the waiting gear. And of course, the Russian figures are just always really cool in general. All right. Well, for starters, let's take a look at... I guess let's take a look at... Um, the waiting pedals that he comes with here. Those are pretty nice. Um, they don't fit tremendously well into his hand. You gotta really get those positioned in there so they don't just like drop like that. Um, but these are cool accessories here. All right, and then strapped over his chest. You can see his uh, Mosin Nagant rifle. Let me get that off if I can. All right, nicely detailed as always. Got a nice sling on there. Very nice rifle. And then let's put this in his hands. Alright, so there he is holding the rifle. He holds it very well, and it looks great. Alright, moving on. Let's take a look at the helmet with the head sculpt. The helmet fits very well into his head, and that looks good. And here's the head sculpt, which is very unique. It's got quite an expression. It definitely looks like he's a little bit older. Uh, but great detailing on that. All right, let's take a look at some of his gear that he comes with. So as you can see, he's got uh, this, it's called a flotation ring. And that is really cool, good quality. And then you can see this piece here. This is a waiter guiding rod. This is very interesting. I've got that hooked onto his uh, his um, his wrist or his forearm actually. And this is metal, so that's really nice. It was a little tricky getting that on. I had to take off his hand and then uh, just slide it on there. So 
Got to be careful, of course, always taking off these hands. They can be brittle. So just some uh, word of warning there. All right. Um, okay, as you can see, underneath of this flotation ring, let me let me take this off actually, so we can get a better look at his uniform. Okay, sorry about that. So there's a better look at that. And then here's his uniform underneath. So he comes with these wading trousers, which are very nice. And these boots are really cool as well. Got all the mud on the sides there and uh, just splattered all over. So great detailing. And then he comes with a belt with pouches there for the clips for his rifle and then in the back he's got his canteen and then of course his uh, Russian uniform underneath of this all right and that's everything to show for the figure that's everything he comes with so this is a great Russian figure and I would recommend picking him up he is really cool um, I personally wouldn't pay any more than maybe 50, 50 or 60 for him. Um, but he is a nice figure. I do like him a lot. The detail's great. And he is quite unique with all of his wading gear. So, alright guys, well I hope you enjoyed this review. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.